Hey everybody, it's Josie. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Well, the sun is beginning to get da go down, and so I'm going to have to make this video a pretty quick one. But I wanted to come outside and get a little bit of fresh air. It's warmed up a little bit, enough today. Um, this is Friday. Our um, icing started on Sunday evening and got kind of iffy. And um, and we've been iced in here. And But today the temperature... Uh, rose and we just have a few little spots that you can even tell that there was snow um, it is muddy though and I can see the hillside on the back side of the farm is still ice covered it stays shady there most of the day and so it's 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 pretty well ice covered still um, but uh, the birds are singing and uh, we're looking forward to springtime uh, looking forward to getting the gardens going and uh, all the different fun projects that come along with that I hope you guys that are still in the path of this snow and ice, uh, we're thinking of you, and uh, uh, we hope that you y'all fare well. Have y'all heard about the woolly mammoths? You know, they're trying to, uh, one company in particular in the next four years believes that they'll be able to bring back the woolly mammoth, um, but they said that it will be a proxy um, it won't be the exact woolly mammoth, but be a, a type. Um, they're going to cross the DNA, um, splice together with an Asian or an African elephant, and that it will create a new uh, proxy animal that will be like the woolly mammoth. Uh, they basically a hairy elephant that can withstand cold temperatures because the Asian elephant, the African elephant are, is definitely not used to the temperatures that they would be in Siberia. Their claim is that it will help the the ecosystem in Siberia and um, the tundra and all of that and help with climate change. And there's been a lot of money thrown at it, millions and millions and millions of dollars uh, from donors and others in the biotech industry and uh, government industries. Um, and it makes you wonder, you know, uh, where all of this will stop. Well, they're not going to stop with the woolly mammoth. They've already got plans to uh, bring back the dodo bird and to bring back um, an animal from uh, Australia. And, um, you know, I, I love animals. Uh, but I wonder uh, about reintroducing these animals. Now I read the articles and believe me some of the articles that I read in these science digests were way over my head um, but uh, one of the uh, things that they talked about with this woolly mammoth was that some scientists are against it saying they don't they don't think it's possible there's a certain percentage of their exact DNA that's missing so, you know, they're not 100% sure what they're going to create. If they do create them and they release them into Siberia or whatever area they decide to release them in, they can't guarantee the behavior of these animals. They can't guarantee how they will act, how they will respond, how they will be uh, going forward. And to me, that just seems a little irresponsible not to be able to address the concerns that people have off of an animal that they've actually recreated or created in a Petri dish or however it's going to be done. Now, I know that they, um, you know, they'll say, well, you're not really smart enough to understand it. The article goes on to say that the peop only people that are really against uh, this kind of technology are old older people or those that are less educated so I guess I could probably fall into both of those categories because they would consider me older 52 and they would probably consider me less educated because they don't have a college education I have a high school diploma but uh, I uh, do believe that I can make rational decisions for myself and I believe that if you had something that was created but you couldn't guarantee people how their behavior is going to be and I know all of the jokes about Jurassic Park and all of those kind of things with the dinosaurs and people will say well 
uh, woolly mammoths weren't dinosaurs and, and, you know, we don't know this and we don't know that. But you're telling people that you can't guarantee the behavior of the animal. You can't guarantee anything about them, really, other than that you're creating something. So you're taking something or trying to take something out of the hands of God and, and make this creation yourself. Um, and I just think that it's a crazy thing. Now, that wasn't the only story that I've read. There's been other stories we've read today about the big spy balloon that's been flying over the country, uh, part of the country, and what the military is trying to decide to do. And they're calling for cool heads to prevail and all of that kind of stuff. And we read about um, corruption in the government and all kinds of things. So it all boils down to this, the dis decision that I have made. And I think that it would behoove you guys the same thing. There's nowhere to quit preparing. There's nowhere uh, that I'm seeing that would make you say, okay, I've done enough. I've prepared enough. So I'm just going to sit back and let things happen. We need to continue. Every video that I sign off on, unless I forget, I say keep look well to keep looking well to the ways of your household. And that's what I mean. Keep looking well to the ways of the household, the persons that you are responsible for, those that you love and you want to be able to help if they're in need. Life changing events happen every day. We never know what they involve. Now, you know, Maybe someday there will be woolly mammoths running all over the place. Maybe not. But life-changing events happen every day. People get sick. People lose their jobs. We've been hearing about all kinds of people that are losing their jobs. All, there's all kinds of weather events that happen. <coughs> <coughs> there are... Um, there is... Inv inv <coughs> there's inflation and there is all kinds of things that affect us on a daily basis and um, I thought boy I'm glad this this storm that passed through this week made me glad that that I prepare uh, there wasn't any uh, ring of the hands worried that we didn't have supplies uh, we were good and I'm thankful for that and I want to continue and so what do we do when we go through a situation like this we restock we take we take inventory and we see what we went through and take the opportunity to see what your challenges were and if you need to increase those and continue to learn skills you know we all have those items Berkey filters and wonder mills and uh, dehydrators and all kinds of homesteading tools that we get and we put up on the shelf but really if we're going to be responsible for our households we need to take those stuff those things out and learn how to use them and use them properly cooking outdoors we've talked about that lately all of the things um, I have subscribers that tell me that they've bought canning supplies canners and and they have a fear and I can understand that fear I had that fear when I first started canning but you have to take the first step and you have to say for myself, for my family, for our good, I'm going to learn to do this. And and I, um, and I challenge you to do that. There are some things that I need to uh, to accomplish myself. There are some things that I need to learn that um, that will be um, wise for me to learn. Y'all, if you see me keep turning my head, we've the last few days we've had a skunk around here somewhere. And I can smell it. I don't see it. But every time I get a whiff, I'm looking to make sure that I'm not getting ready to get sprayed. Uh, my dogs are here in the backyard behind you guys. And if they ran at it and barked, some of us are going to get sprayed. And I'm afraid it's including me. So just bear with me if you see me looking. I'm wanting to make sure that I'm not going to get taken out by a skunk. But anyway, guys, I challenge you to continue to look well to the ways of your household. Um, you know, if we're not careful, we allow people to say something to us, a question us about what we're doing, and we begin to second guess what we're doing. Is it really crazy what I'm doing? Is it, you know, selfish of me? Is it um, taking my trust 
away from God? Is it wrong of me being a Christian? And the answer is no. Um, a wise person prepares. Um, our grandparents prepared. They knew uh, that they'd had some hard times. And so they prepared. They had uh, root cellars and they had provisions. And um, it was a wise thing to do. Our granny saved their scraps and made quilts. A lot of you have probably been under those quilts in the wintertime where uh, granny put the quilts on top of you when you went to bed and they were so heavy you couldn't hardly move around. But boy, did you get a good night's sleep warm in those. In those. They knew what they were doing and we need to keep holding on to those ourselves and um, looking well to the ways of our household and not uh, be discouraged when we read these stories because I really think, guys, going forward, the stories... The news stories and others, they're just going to get crazier and crazier. I mean, who thought we would be talking about a woolly mammoth being recreated within four years? I didn't think that. But here we are, and they're talking about it, and a lot of money's being thrown at it. Um, so just continue to prepare. Continue to look well to the ways of your household. Continue to find those things that stock your shelves, that's prepared preparing for your family not just food and water but medical supplies and uh, books that's going to help you um, to make it through uh, whatever the situation may be you might need books on carpentry skills or plumbing or first aid or whatever uh, but just keep stocking keep preparing don't let all of those crazy stories that sound like movie titles uh, get you down and get you scared and get you um, thinking that you're not doing any good. Okay, guys. I love this is Josie. I love you guys. I really do. Keep looking well to the ways of your household. Keep preparing. Don't worry about those woolly mammoths. Until next time, we're gone. <laughs>